Hi again, and welcome to the weekly tech update. Today we're going to talk about a source called newsela.com to help you find readings for your class um, of all sorts and of all uh, subject levels. Um, News ELA is a collection of nonfiction articles, and with the changing SAT, um, nonfiction reading becomes more and more important to our students as it's something that's going to be emphasized on the standardized tests. So, how can you bring good quality nonfiction articles into your class, especially if your class is a lower grade level or maybe a lower reading skill level? Um, you know, you saw something in the Times you think would be great, but um, you just don't think that the class could handle it because the vocab is too complex, um, or, or maybe you think the sentence structure is a little too dense. Um, News ELA helps with that. It works on the Lexile level. Um, this comes from Lexile.com. Lexiles measure uh, length of words, complexity of sentences, uh, and they translate it to a number, and they roughly correspond to grade levels like so here. Um, so when we go to newsela.com, you can see exactly what this looks like. The first thing you want to do when you get to newsela.com is sign up. It is free. Uh, it takes a second. You're going to select that you're a teacher. You're going to put in the zip code of the school. It's actually going to find Kellenberg Memorial High School here, and you can go through the process of adding yourself, it sends you an email, you confirm it, and then you're all set and ready to go. All right, so to show you how this works quickly, I've signed into my New Zealand account, and you can see there I am. Um, and I've selected an article, and let's say I'm in a history class and I want to do a current events article on what's going on in American politics. Here is an article that originally appeared in the Los Angeles Times, and it's about Mike Huckabee um, declaring his intention to run for president. Right? Here's the original article. Now it says it's written at the 12th grade level, and it, it contains 987 words. So it's fairly long. Um, maybe you don't want to spend that much class time on a current events article like that. And it's also fairly complex. If we, if we look at the first couple paragraphs, you'd see that it's got a lot of uh, detail in here that maybe isn't the main idea and is interesting to more advanced students, but um, is going to maybe bog down or, or get uh, some confusion amongst the younger students. So let's see how this article scales, right? It's at the max level now. Let's go down to 1050, all right? And now here we are at a seventh grade level, and I've shaved about 200 words off the article. Let's see, all right? First paragraph is much more simple. Um, and then you can see as it goes on here, it gives some heading words, um, and it kind of divides the article up into some supporting detail ideas. Uh, we can go further down still. If this is a class that really struggles and, and isn't reading so well, or maybe you want to use this in an early Latin school class, same thing, right? Um, and you can do this uh, up and down with articles in any kind of content area. You see they have sports, arts, health, law, money, so on and so forth. So it's a really great way of getting some more current events or, or some contemporary nonfiction reading into your course and getting it right at the grade level and the difficulty level that you need it at. So I um, hope you find this to be a useful classroom tool.